بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone In the last lessons we explained the diesel engine parts and diesel engine systems and how diesel engine works that cause four stroke of diesel engine cycle Today Today we are gonna explain the synchronous generator or the alternator. Synchronous machines can be found in most of the power station as AC generators or alternating current generating supplies the electrical needs and generating the electrical power. Three phase Synchronous generators are known as an alternator to generate the large scale power. This generator, these generators are driven either by steam turbines, hydro turbines, or gas turbines. Synchronous generators. What is the synchronous generator? Synchronous generators is a machine that converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy generally using the electromagnetic induction the source of the mechanical power the prime mover may be a diesel engine a steam turbine a war turbine or hydro turbines for a high speed machine, the prime mover steam is, are usually steam turbines employing the fossil or nuclear energy resources. Two, the low speed machines are often driven by hydro turbines that employs war power for generations. Three, Smaller synchronous machines are sometimes used for provide or private generation and as standby units with gas or diesel engines as prime movers. Types of synchronous generators There are two main types of the synchronous generator. One, Stationary filled synchronous generators. In these generators, the poles on the stator or field winding are supplying with a DC to create a stationary magnetic field. In this type of synchronous generators, The field winding are supplied with DC to create a stationary magnetic field. What are the DC sources? Oh, I expect And the armatures and the armatures connecting of or winding or router consist of three phase winding whose terminals connect into three slip rings on the shaft and brushes connected into the armature to the external three-phase load. This arrangement works for a low power machines that is smaller than 5 kV ampere. 2. Revolving field synchronous generators. In this type of synchronous generators, and the most common, also known as alternator, and it's the most important synchronous generator that is used in the power station. It's called the revolving field synchronous generator, and as called the alternator. The stationary armatures, as though in these pictures. The stationary armatures with three phase as line terminals, neutral and line terminals, as shown in this picture.
the stationary armature with the three phase winding on a stator and three phase directly connected into the load as shown in these pictures. The rotating magnetic the rotating magnetic fields created by a DC field winding on the rotors as shown in these pictures. This arrangement works for a high power machines that applied in the power station and in the industries. What are the advantages of having a stationary armature and a rotating field system? 1. The output current can be led directly from fixed terminals on the stator to the load circuit without having to pass to throw the brush contact as shown in the uh, revolving field synchronous generator. 2. It's easier to insulate stationary armatures. 2. To insulate the stationary armature winding for a high AC voltage, we may have as a high value is 11 kV or more. C. The sliding of contact, for example, slip range. For example, the slip range. Are transferred into the low voltage and low power DC field. Circuit with can therefore be easily insulated. D. The armature winding. The armature winding as shown in these pictures. The armature winding can be more easily pressed to prevent any deformation, which could be produced by the mechanical stress set up as a result of the short circuit current and a high centrifugal forces pro into blade. E. The stationary armature the stationary armature winding can be called more efficiently if a field is rotating to excite it by an external DC supply to slip rings the two slip rings as or are enough one each for positive and negative terminals as a gen sits in three phase rotating armature, the minimum number of slip rings required are three and cannot be easily insulated to a high voltage level that results in the rotor bolts. Now we talk about the main components of the synchronous generator or the main part. One, it's called the stator. It's called the stator, like stator winding, stator core. The stator is the stationary from its name. The stator is the stationary part and it's built with a high grade silicon steel laminations and bristles punches and individually insulated and AC generators with armature field have the stators as shown in this picture it's called stator core that covers the rotor what's the details of the stator core stator the stature details. 1. The coil are placed in the slots. The coil, as shown in these pictures, 
are placed in the slots. 2. The coil and winding are bent from the armature winding. 3. The winding consists of cover bars insulated with the mica and epoxy resin. As shown in these pictures, it's called or consists of cover bars insulated with each other. D. The lamination iron core are used to reduce energy losses that's called ED current and high stress losses. We make the lamination iron core of any generator or alternator made of laminations to reduce the energy losses that's called eddy currents. 2. Supporting frame. 2. The supporting frame or the cover. The stator frame is normally a rigid welded steel structure construction. The generator frame supports the rotating and stationary components and serves as an enclosure to protect the internal components of the alternator. The stator frame or the stator core is closed with a steel panel that guide to a ventilation air and provide a degree of protection required. 3. The insulation. A generator winding. Generator windings are insulated against the highest voltage to which they may be subjected, and the insulation must withstand a certain specified maximum temperature without deteriorating. The insulation system is designed to minimize the effect of a localized electrical stress and reduce the effect of partial discharge while increasing machine life and reliability. Two, the two main parts is called the rotor. It's called the rotor. The rotor is the rotating bars and AC generators with rotating fields have a rotors and it's a highly engineered unitized assembly capable of a rotating satisfactorily at synchronous speed continuously according to the standards of as necessary for the application. Rotor details. The shaft of the rotor is from it's made from four steel to carry a high rotation of the synchronous generator. The bolts are manufactured of a sheet steel and bolted to the hub. The pole laminations are pressed together with the steel bars which are welded into the end blades. The windings are completely vacuum pressures. Imbrigated with the high quality x -bone. 3. Pan. That's found here. This fan is providing on one side of the exact axis of function of pulling the resulting heat from the inside of the to the outside of the generator. If the exhaustor this part of the cover winding it's called the exhaustor the exhaustor is a second smaller generator is mounted inside the main generator 
the smaller generators or the exhaustors is mounted on the forward end of the rotor shaft and is repaired to the brushless exhaustor armature. Now, what types of the rotors? There are two main types of the rotors. One, the salient ball rotor. Two, non-salient ball or uh, cylindrical rotor. What's the difference or the difference between salient and non-salient ball? In silent ball alternator, the balls are projecting out from the surface. But in non silent ball alternator, and supported portion of the cylindrical act as ball hence ball are non projecting. In the silent ball alternator, the air gap is non uniform. But in the non silent ball alternator the air gap is uniform due to smooth cylindrical bare herbie in the silent ball alternator there are a mechanically weak but in non solid ball alternator there are mechanically is strong in solid it's preferred for low speed alternators but in non silent prepared for a high speed alternator the prime mover used are ic engine or inter internal combustion engine in the silent ball but in non silent ball the prime mover used are steam turbines or nuclear energy in silent ball alternator for a same size, the rating is smaller than cylindrical type. But in non silent ball alternators, the for same size rating is a higher than silent ball type. <clears throat> in silent ball alternator, this rotor is also called as project ball type. But in the non silent ball alternator, this rotor is also called as non silent or non projected ball type. In the silent ball alternator, and is the end, this is prepared for a low speed alternator ranging from 125 RBM or revolution per minute into 500 revolution per minute. But in the non silent ball alternator, this is prepared for a high speed alternator, rating from 1500 RBM to 3000 RBM. The three main bars. The three main bars of the synchronous generators. It's called the bearings. It's called the bearings. The generator rotor is secured by two sleeve bearings, allowing easily inspection and maintenance without have to dismantle the machines. Bearings are forced lubricated. One of the bearings is insulated to prevent shaft current and to protect the bearing housing. So, this is the lesson of today. Thank you, my friends, for your listening. I wish to make a like and subscribe in my channel. Thank you.